Welcome to the Legal Broadcast Network. My name is Scott Drake. On this, the anniversary of the September 11th World Trade Center attacks, uh, my guest is attorney Nitsana Darshan Leitner. She is the director of the Tel Aviv-based Shirhat Hadin, Israel law organization, a worldwide network of lawyers who seek to go after the terrorist money trail. Uh, the organization is an Israeli-based civil rights organization working to combat the terrorist organizations and the regimes that support them through lawsuits litigated in courtrooms around the world. Uh, Nitsana, thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. Hi, it's pleasure. So I'm guessing, that, you know, to, to the casual observer uh, would speculate that, that filing lawsuits against terrorist organizations would be a, a gigantic waste of time as these groups wouldn't feel bound by any court judgment. So can you explain how your organization goes about litigating terrorists? Well, I can tell you the bottom line, which is uh, these lawsuits are very, very effective. But let me start from the beginning. Um, you know, in the beginning, people say, like, as you ask, well, what a terror organization, how can you sue a terror organization? How can you serve them? I mean, how can you find them on an address? And even if you do locate them, they will come to court, they will ignore the procedure. Mm -hmm. And even if you get a death judgment against them, how will you collect? They don't have assets, you can find their assets. Um, but uh, we took this risk and we uh, filed a couple of cases, uh, both in Israel and the United States, against their organizations, and uh, um, which have a tremendous effect on terrorism uh, in general, uh, terrorism, uh, terror financing in particular, and on the terror victims. Mm -hmm. We were able to uh, litigate against the organizations like Hamas, Islamic Jihad, PLO, Palestine Authority, uh, countries like Iran, Syria, North Korea, and the uh, most uh, important banks that are providing financial services to terror organizations, mm -hmm. uh, like Bank of China, UBS, American Express Bank, and others. And um, as a result of the cases against the banks, for instance, no bank agrees anymore to uh, provide financial services to designated terror organization mm -hmm. or to any Islamic charities that identify with the terror organization or raise funds for a terror organization. Uh, no bank agrees to provide financial uh, services in terror zones like Gaza. There is no banking system in Gaza anymore. This is why you're them smuggling money into Gaza with suitcases through the tunnels. And that care to their organization very much because mm -hmm. they need some money. So and, and and it's been said it's been said that um, you know terrorist organizations spend the majority of their time raising money or or trying to find money. Where does that money typically come from? Is it governments who support them? It comes sometimes from a regime as you know that support them like Iran, like Saudi Arabia, uh, like Syria of course. North mm -hmm. Korea, mm -hmm. um, and they also from private individuals or private charities that are raising uh, those funds. And the target is to block the money. Mm -hmm. The target is to go after this money and to prevent it from falling to the hands of the uh, organization. And uh, when I'm looking at your website, it, it seems to say that you've had some pretty good success uh, with some individual judgments and, and, and actually, um, you know, uh, getting damages paid to families who've been victims in this is somewhere in the tune of $120 million. Can, can, can you talk about that? That's right. That's right. We, uh, you know, we got uh, judgments uh, for over $1 billion, uh, but we actually collected $120 million went to the hands of the uh, terror victims. And we did it by enforcing our judgments all over the world against assets that we found, we located, and we um, um, took our judgments and investigated them where it's needed and uh, enforced them against the, the assets uh, of the uh, organizations or the, or the state sponsor terrorism. And uh, that uh, gives uh, a measure of justice to the uh, terror victims. We mm -hmm. all know that no money can bring back lives and no money can uh, attach uh, a cut-off legs to the body, but money gives some sort 
of simply some sort of compensation, some light to the Turbicum to uh, uh, rehabilitate your life and to start living again. Talk about maybe what you think are the biggest misconceptions that people have about terrorist organizations. I mean, you say that they are run like a lot of businesses are run. Yes, because the uh, it's a business is like a, it's like a company, it's like a corporation. They have mm-hmm. leaders, and uh, underneath them they have departments, and they have people who are uh, uh, taking actions, the people who are supporting them, and uh, without a lot of cash, because organizations usually don't use banks, um, they are able to operate. Mm-hmm. Um, in addition, in addition, in order to operate, they need to, uh, you know, they don't need the money for the bullet or for the rifle or for the missile. Too small money. They use, they need the huge amount of money for the uh, to act inside the population, among the population. In order for the Hamas to operate in Gaza, they need to provide free food to the population, free medical services, free social services, in order to gain back their loyalty, in order to continue shooting missiles from their backyards into Israel. Mm -hmm. And they cannot do it without millions of dollars. Also, they maintain a military. The the Hamas have soldiers. They don't wear uniforms but they are very loyal to the organization, and they're waiting for the day that the organization's heads of the organization will call them to carry out an attack in Israel. And until this day, they are in, on payroll. They get salaries month after month after month. Mm-hmm. So it's really like a big, big corporation that if you destroy their infrastructure, they will collapse. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, I think some of the intelligence gathered uh, after Osama bin, bin Laden had been, had been killed uh, showed that al-Qaeda, as, as an example of a terrorist organization, uh, was run like a business, kept receipts for things, uh, had employees, got, uh, people got vacation days, and it's, 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 it's odd, you know, for the observer uh, that an organization, you know, based in terror is run like that, but that's really uh, how they have to be run because they have to operate on large amounts of money. Exactly, exactly. You say, yeah, it's funny, but they have a budget, and they have to operate within their budget. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they don't raise funds. You know, the uh, state sponsors of them don't just uh, keep Money. They have to go and make an effort and uh, travel around the world and collect this money, um, and, uh, and 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 to you know in 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 our um, in our trial we we show uh, documentation that prove that uh, the aid organizations received money or gave money to terrorists. Mm-hmm. We uh, show countries who uh, gave money to terrorists. We show bank transfers. We show numbers and show dates. Mm-hmm. It's all run very, very officially mm-hmm. uh, and very, uh, to an extent, accurately. Uh, after all, it's a big organization, mm-hmm. and they need to be accountable for themselves, for each other, not for the outside world, obviously. Mm-hmm. Can you, in these last uh, minute or two here, talk about some cases that you're working on right now? Well, we have a case against the Bank of China. Uh-huh. Uh, the Bank of China had a, an account for a Hamas activists who were receiving money from the headquarters of Hamas in Syria. And uh, once the money was hitting his account, he was pulling the money out and sending it to his brother, another Hamas activist in Gaza. Um, the counterterrorism division of the Israeli government met with the Central Bank of China, met with officials of the Treasury in China, and urged them to close down the account. But the Chinese say that Hamas is not a terror organization in China. So we uh, took them to court. We filed a loss against the Bank of China on behalf of terrorists that were killed or injured by Hamas. We filed the uh, loss in New York because the money was wired through the Bank of China in New York. Um, and the, the Chinese filed the uh, motion to dismiss, and uh, 
other lotions to uh, heat the lawyers with fine and et cetera, et cetera. They lost all of it, and now the case is going to trial. Mm-hmm. And uh, we have um, wire transfers. We have numbers, counts, dates. Uh, to prove that the uh, money was coming from the headquarters of Hamas in Syria through the Bank of China of this guy and uh, uh, to the final destination, the Hamas organization in Gaza. Mm. Well, again, uh, my guest is Attorney Nitsana Darshan Leitner. She is the director of the Tel Aviv-based Shurhat Hadin uh, Israel Law Organization. Nitsana, we appreciate you taking the time and, and speaking with us today, and, and thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Thank you.